This is the iconic Thornmelon Bridge here in Lagos, Nigeria. By the time you see this video, this bridge would have been open for vehicular movement. Today is 4th of April 2024. Remember, Thornmelon Bridge is under rehabilitation by the federal government. And today, we are witnessing their on this iconic bridge. At the early hour of one of the good Thursdays, being 4th April 2024, the federal government of Nigeria and Lagos State government, through her Ministry of Work, reopened the Third Melon Bridge for public use after several months of rehabilitation, assuring Lagosians and the group of Nigeria that this bridge is now thoroughly checked, reconstructed for vehicular movement, Why other work on the bridge will not stop or affect vehicular movements why work are still ongoing under the water this was a spotlight at the event during the reopening of this bridge that the third mainland bridge will be opened for public use while the remaining works like the solar light installation and CCTV installations are ongoing. He also directed that the remaining ongoing works will not disrupt the flow of traffic. He further said that the bridge deck works will be completed by May 2024 and will be completed by the President and Commander-in-Chief of the armed forces. The Honorable Minister of Works would further like to thank the Action Governor of Lagos State for his assistance in the management of traffic during the rehabilitation works. The Honorable Minister is grateful to Nigerians, especially the Russians, for their cooperation and assistance for their cooperation has assisted us greatly in rehabilitating this bridge. Carry your mic there. The yeah. minister remains indebted to all the staff of the Federal Ministry of Works, especially the Director of Bridge Rehabilitation. Lastly, the minister, the Honorable Minister assures that the ongoing on the deck and on the water works will not disrupt I will strengthen the integrity of the bridge when completed, signed by the Governor of the I want to stand on this pedestal and I would like to warmly thank the President of the Commander in Chief of the Ambassador, President Wola Ametimu, for his commitment to the provision of infrastructure development of Nigeria. In Delhi, who wants for that? He's not just committed to providing infrastructures, he's committed to providing in Delhi, who wants. Ones that will remain in the minds of the people of Nigeria, even years after he's left the office. Because without his commitment, this project will not have become a reality. Without his utmost support, he supported the ministry all the way. It has never been done like this. Most of the times, what we have is a release of money. You understand that left the, in, a, in an energetic manner. But this one, the release of money was done hundred percent. He was committed to the total rehabilitation of the bridge without money and cost. And the money and the willing to spend. I want to say thank you, Mr. President, for this 
generous service. I would like also to thank my neighbor and the party table. Very hardworking, honorable minister of work, impressing of honorable senator, His Excellency David Nai. His commitment to the completion of this work is second to none. We will agree with him that he came to Lagos more than any other person. Obviously, the contractors of this project did an amazing job, and the government, on their own part, have been so supportive in funding this project and ensuring the success of the rehabilitation of the Lagos Third Mainland Bridge. Shortly, I will drive you through the bridge to see the quality of construction of this project. But before then, let's explore this part of the project where you Nigerians come into light. Honesty, it is in my heart to see this at the bridge. Even though this bridge was not yet open for vehicular movements, this was a level of vandalism so far. This bridge was recently rehabilitated. This is what is already happening. This is a reminder to you, every Nigerian watching this video. We own this project to ourselves to ensure the success and the longevity of this project. Don't litter the ground, say no to vandalism, ensure. We all take responsibility to see all these projects are sustainable at the long run. And this is a quick reminder that the government said that be zero tolerance if anybody is caught on the art of littering or vandalizing the Third Melan Bridge. guys with all being said now let's take a ride on this bridge to see the quality of construction achieved on this bridge so far please ensure you subscribe to the channel and i beg you buy me coffee because this is a way you support the next project we are working on on the channel thank you enjoy the ride the traffic management officials has also advised motorists to ensure they observe the speed limit why isn't the Todd Melan Bridge. Civic obedience is a noble art and you own it to yourself to ensure you do your part as the government, the contractors of this project have done their part. It's up to you to ensure you do your own part. Sincerely, I appreciate to get your feedback on the quality of construction, or should I say the rehabilitation of the Third Melan Bridge at the comment section. Let's interact. If you like this video, it will help trigger the algorithm to know that this video is worthy to share to more audience. When you share, yeah, you are doing a noble job of spreading the good message I am trying to pass through this video. Please help me to share this video so it will get to more eyeballs, especially Nigerians. So they will see the call of civic obedience I'm putting out in this video. Especially if you are not a resident of Nigeria for now. Thank you for coming forward with us on this part of the video. Please, we'd like to get your opinion in the comment section and ensure to follow the one showing next on your screen. I'm always there to keep you company. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, it's very important, and buy us coffee. Until I come away again, I remain OZ.